Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell at Spring Hill, Florida in, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. It's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I am experimenting with skies. And I am going to try to be a little bit different than usual and spread some of my white metallic from Anita's all over my sky area before I begin to add any colors. That thinking that it will keep the colors from staining and to see how far that paint will go. This is my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. There's some more paint. I think I'm going to go majority sky, minority land, and try and keep my land really simple. This might be, I'd like to keep both things really simple, but I don't trust myself to actually follow through with that. I want to take some of my paint, put it right along the edges right now. There we go. So in case something drips over, I have a chance to blend it in. I am going to be just using my spatula for blending, I think. This is the Golden Hour from Arteza, which is a metallic. That is the Decor and Americana 24 karat gold with orange in it. This is more Anita's white metallic with some pink with some magenta in it. That is some folk art color shifting purple flash. This is something from Modern Masters that had iridescence in it and I'm not sure what I would call that. That is my Hot Orchid from Color Art. And I'm thinking I might want just a little bit of Prussian blue in that Venetian blue laden Anita's. Now I've still got paint on my on the blade of my spatula. I want that black out of there. I'm going to immediately put some of those colors right across. Bring them all the way down. Get my torch out of the way so it doesn't fall over. Continue adding colors. Figuring I might want to pull that, whatever that was, out of there. Figuring also that whatever comes up here is probably going to go down there as well. So much for subtle sky, huh? I guess it's just not my thing. Whoops! <laughs> Okay, that'll be beautiful. Try and get some of it on the edge of my canvas. Lost all my yellow, but that's okay. Willing to let that go right down over. Keep touching the sides of my canvas. Not really looking for green. Probably going to get some anyway. Going to learn to live with the cells. Wasn't anything in there that was supposed to sell, but everything sells if it wants to. I need a fairly heavy layer along the edge or the chances of the canvas showing are very good. You might need a frame on anything that is considered escape from me. I want all of that paint right off of that canvas. Oop, 
Krusty's not invited. Sometime I'm going to try my airbrush and blow on the edge of that and see what happens. Maybe I will try my... straw right now. Always wanted to do that. Just make the sky look a lot more organic. And then I just want to pull it across with my spatula again. Oh well. I'm going to wipe my spatula off and do that anyway. I just saw sky these colors in an Instagram photo of a place with a castle. Doesn't hurt my feelings to wipe my spatula off because I know what I'll be putting in there. It'll be green. So stealing a little more paint won't hurt my feelings any. So, figuring that I'm gonna be dipping but that needs to come out. <laughs> there we go. Dipping and pulling. There may come a moment when I choose to add some more color to that. I want a flat edge card, so I'm going to start with something that has to make sure I have the curve on the right side. Put some of the Amsterdam black on it. Go for wherever the paint is heaviest first. Put some more Amsterdam black. I'm going to wipe off my card. I'm going to remember this time to wipe off my card on the bottom. No residuals. Wiping off my card along the edges, blending in. I suppose this could probably have some trees. I kind of want some purple in there. I always want purple with my green, to tell you the truth. And I like the chrysocolla. It didn't really. Chrysocolla is another prism pour, but it didn't really show up the way I was hoping it would. So I'm going to use some of this emerald, emerald green color shift. I forget to use a straw sometimes, but I can't keep using that card, and my edges are covered now, and so is most of my bottom. 
This side needs a lot of work. I just noticed it had no paint. But I can also use my spatula and take all the paint I need right there. And I could actually put some black paint on my spatula. Some I kind of want some blue mountains in the back there. I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not, but I'm going to try it anyway. Because I like the sound of it. I also kind of like that muted color too. I think I'm going to do it on the other side also. I wish somebody would stop calling or answer the phone. It's the nature of the beast. There. That's as simple as I'm going to get, I guess. And I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And if I want to add some trees or something, I guess I could do it tomorrow. Trees, trees might be nice. They might be really nice. I'm going to throw a little more paint up across the top here. Especially if I can find it dripping down underneath the canvas. Maybe, since I'm here... Blowing across isn't a bad idea. That is something that does not belong. And that is going to cause me put a little bit of blue over here. And a little bit more over there. Grab a clean spatula. And add some different texture to my sky. Just sliding it off and bouncing it around. And that also allowed me to see more things that do not belong. Which look more like bubbles right at the moment. Which is actually a good thing. Much easier to get rid of bubbles. And I've got a little bit of a color clash on my edge. So I've got over 92,000 subscribers, and if you're new, please be welcomed. If you're not new, I love you. Thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. I am still going to torch. I want some purple. Yes, I do. And I've got blue on my blade. And I'm going to grab some purple. I've got my bottles that fell over. Just raise up the background of my scenery a little bit. Purple Mountain's Majesty, maybe. I think the paint is getting a little gummy which means I'm as likely to pull paint up as to put paint down. But I like that now, even more because I love my favorite color there at the horizon line. 
I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Make sure to check out my Amazon link at know what it costs to you if you shop there. And you can find the AXA omelet turning spatula, flip and fold, best paint spreading tool I know of. You can also find my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. I'm going to torch to release the bubble scotch and paint. Right after I make sure all my marks that I don't have to cook in there. So I'm getting a little better at using only the bottom quarter of the canvas for the land. Next I will be doing three quarters land and one quarter sky. Actually I did that earlier today so. I torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Sometimes it releases patterns in the paint. That's not something I count on unless I'm using a cell activator. We got lots of nice little cells. Nothing overpowering. That one little spot is bugging me though. I'm going to steal some paint over here. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. If you want to be of assistance, I, um, I recommend giving me a thumbs up. And thank you for the comments that keep my morale boosted. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. If you want to be entered in the monthly drawing and you make a donation through PayPal or Patreon, you can find the icon to to contribute on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. You can also find the links right on my link tree, which is the first blue link under the video. You can also find Facebook groups there. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is for shoppingpixels.com and Fine Art America, also found on the link tree. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is a good place to look at the albums of what I've added to the Facebook group there. So far so good. If you ever want to see something, ask me and I'll show it to you on my community board. And also on my community board you'll see tomorrow's video. On the Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook you will see tomorrow's video if you look for it. Most times it might be there kind of late sometimes. I've been posting all over the map so I can't tell you what time I'm posting these days. But I can tell you thank you again for the comments to keep my morale boosted. And thank you again for shopping my Amazon link and my Teespring clothing is below the video. All over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. For anybody who wants something and you can't find it, please just ask me. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipe, it is underneath show more under the video. You have to click show more. If you have questions, please ask me. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. I love you guys. Check my email address if you have in an interest in purchasing an artwork. Use the hashtag and the file number in the title of the painting. And I also give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. They are private and one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that's pretty much everything except for the fact that I have 18 lists of 100 uh, videos each. And they are also organized into playlists by topic and genre. And if you can't find what you're looking for, I'm your girl. I'm happy to help you. So I will tell you again, guys, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I love you much. Hope to see you soon. I post every day and twice on weekends. You can rely on the 10 p.m. at night on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Otherwise, I'll see you. Maybe I should zoom in. I don't know what you're going to see if I zoom in. I'll try and leave my... There we go. You can see some of the land. Not a whole lot, but you can see some. Pretty sky. I like it. Bye for now. Priscilla out.